And welcome to your Go Market update with me, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets on this Friday, the 27th of May. Hope you're all well. Let's just have a quick check on what's happening over the news wires. Another positive session on Wall Street last night. We saw a broad based rally with possibly some optimism in terms of, first of all, with the drop we've had, we've had SP. 500 earnings multiples down below 20, around about the 16 level, which is historically attractive. And the other chatter that was coming across the wires was hopes that the inflation peak may have been reached. And on top of that, the data came in okay without being decimated. So generally speaking, a more positive day and a more positive background to what's going on here. However, if we look at the futures this morning, they're only very mildly negative in early Asian trading. Asian indices are following that strong US lead. ASX is up just over 1% at this stage, and US futures are also pointing to a higher open. US dollar index really sort of flatline for most of yesterday. Gold didn't move either, still trading around 1850. Interestingly, oil continues its potential breakout that we saw. Uh, start yesterday afternoon and is now trading around 117 a barrel which takes it out of that 100 to 115 range on the brent cfd contract the vix interestingly is still around 28 level and that could be to some degree because of what's coming out later and i'll talk about that in a second Bitcoin is choppy, look, settled in that 28 to 30,000 range, although we are just pulling down towards the bottom of that at this stage. I did have Japanese CPI out, and that was less than expected, which is good. The key data point is the PCE number, the personal consumption expenditure number that comes out of the US tonight. This is really important. It is an inflation number, and hence, if we see the drop that's expected, or even better than that, then we could have a continuation of the rally. If we get a number that's too hot, expect some selling into the weekend, perhaps. US trade balance figures are also due, but they are less likely to impact on market sentiment. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. On the ASX, we did spy Linus, and what's interesting about Linus is this potential pattern formation that's happening here. So we see there that we have this up move and then a retracement back and we've got a higher session today. So this is beginning to look as though it might create a textbook pennant type of pattern. We need to see it break this pivot high. So around about that 980, we could then see it up as high as $11 going forward. So generally speaking, this is a nice looking chart, but patience is required to see if we can break that level unlikely to be today more likely to be earlier in the week so keep an eye on that on monday particularly if we get a good session tonight in the us on the fx front things are pretty flat this morning but we are keeping an eye on the gb pound canadian dollar uh, you can see there we've got this rounded bottom type of formation here with a potential level of interest at this 161 63 level if we have a move up in that, there could be a short-term opportunity. Next key level is around about 130 pips higher from where we are now. That may occur over the course of a few days, but we're probably more interested in looking at an hourly chart trade. Uh, so maybe a move up to 162 in the first instance, if we break this, bagging about 40 pips may not be a bad place to look with it being Friday. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.